Thank you, Madam Speaker, men and women of the House. I, too, rise in opposition. I, too, believe with the good representative from Burlington, Representative Turner, that we all have in our hearts our own decisions on this. But I look at it this way. Our life is our life. We have a beginning and we have an end. And we never really know when that end will actually be. We heard testimony in our, in our committee about a woman from, I believe, you, the Wash from Washington. She was given a cancer diagnosis. She believed in death with dignity. She went to her doctor asking for the prescription for the medications to end her own life. Her doctor, who didn't necessarily believe in that, sat down and he talked to her. Well, fortunately for her, 15 years later, she's now cancer-free, and she's still living a very active life, and she's now opposed to this legislation. Enacting this bill could encourage people with years or decades to live to throw away their lives instead of getting proper treatment. These bills are sold as having a voluntary patient choice. However, there's no physician, there's no um, physician present when these pills are taken. How do we know that there is choice at the end when they self-administer? I think we would be naive to think that every family is perfect and there may not be enough uh, an occasion for an ulterior motive, an inheritance, financial gain, I find this just so troubling. And I found it troubling in committee when we heard several proponents of this legislation say, and I quote, no one who has ever participated in this program has ever complained. Think about that. No one who has ever participated in this program has ever complained. Of course not. They're dead. While the good representative on our colleague, Representative Chase, can't be here today, I do have some words from him. He's a pharmacist. He understands medications. He understands the, uh, the uh, complications with some medications. And he sent a message saying, there is no single med that you just swallow and peacefully exit. It can be traumatic with seizures and vomiting, not the same as hospice. This could be traumatic for the family. Imagine you have a divided family. You have a parent who's ailing. They decide to take this. You have one sibling who's for it and supports the parent's choice. You have another sibling who's against it and doesn't support the parent's choice. They take this medication. They have a tremendously adverse reaction. It could divide that family for the rest of their lives. I urge you to vote no on this. I'm going to. Thank you.